we begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in this Mass we include all your intentions, and may the good Lord, through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, grant all the desires of our hearts. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, with humble hearts, let us call to mind our sins and beg the Lord for pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts and, and in my words, in what I have done, in and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have taught us to chasten our bodies for the healing of our souls, enable us, we pray, to abstain from all sins and strengthen our hearts to carry out your loving commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Lord, great and awesome God, you who keep your merciful covenant toward those who love you and observe your commandments. We have sinned, been wicked, and done evil. We have rebelled and departed from your commandments and your laws. We have not obeyed your servants, the prophets, who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes, our fathers, and all the people of the land. Justice, O Lord, is on your side. We are shamefaced even to this day. We, the men of Judah, the residents of Jerusalem, and all Israel, near and far, in all the countries to which you have scattered them because of their treachery toward you. O Lord, we are shamefaced like our kings, our princes, and our fathers for having sinned against you. But yours, O Lord, our God, are compassion and forgiveness. Yet we rebelled against you and paid no heed to your command, O Lord, our God. To live by the law you gave us through your servants, the prophets. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Lord. Do not deal with us according to our sins. Remember not against the iniquities of the past. May our compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Let the prisoners sighing come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death. Then we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture will give thanks to you forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Please stand. Your words, Lord, our spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Mm -hmm. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be merciful just as your Father is merciful. Stop judging and you will not be judged. Stop condemning and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang morning po sa inyong lahat. Pakibati naman po yung mga katabi ninyo ng magandang morning. Eh, bago po ang lahat, nais ko munang pasalamatan ang mga kaparian, ang komunidad ng mga Dominikano at management ng dambanang ito sa pagbibigay ng pagkakataon ng isang malaking oportunidad upang makapagdiwang ng banal na misa sa araw na ito. This is my first time to celebrate Mass outside of our diocese the Diocese of Tarlac. If my memory serves me right, taong 2003, I was in grade 6, nung una ko pong masulyapan at mapuntahan ang lugar na ito. Kasama ang aking lola at mga miyembro ng CWL sa aming parokya sa Dapdap, Bamban, Tarlac, uh, dito po lagi sa gilid na ito, dyan kami nakaupo. Yan yung lagi naming pwesto. Nakaharap sa mahal na ina at ibinubulong ang aming mga panalangin. Sa taon-taong pamamasyal at pagsisimba namin na noong pandemya lang po natigil due to some restrictions, wala po akong maalala ni minsan na sana ay makapagdiwang ako ng banal na misa sa simbahang ito bilang isang pari. But with great joy and amazement, heto po ako celebrating the Mass with you and thanking the Lord through Mary for the gift of priesthood. Hindi ko man po pinangarap, pero baka ito ang pangarap ng lola ko sa tuwing pumapasyal kami dito at pinakinggan ito ng ating mahal na ina hindi ba kay buti ng Diyos kay buti ng mahal na ina palakpakan po natin ang mahal na ina ngunit nang may pagdadalamhati ay wala na po si lola she passed away eight years ago at iniaalay ko ang misang ito para sa kanya and I know she's with me now tingnan nyo po baka katabi ninyo <laughs> iniwan po ako ng aking iniwan man po ako ng aking lola na sana ikasama ko ngayon sa pagdiriwang na ito iniwan naman niya ako sa pangangalaga ng mahal na ina ang mahal na ina ang birhen ng manawag na siyang tunay at marunong makinig sa mga samot dalangin ng kanyang mga anak. Amen? As the doors of the church reopen once again at napapawi na ang dilim na dulot ng pandemyang ito, heto na muli tayo bumabangon sa ating pananampalataya at handang muling makinig ng dalawang tenga sa mga salita ng Diyos. In our Gospel for today, from the account of St. Luke, we have heard how Jesus challenged His disciples 
of the important things they need to do and should inculcate both in their minds and hearts. That is, to be merciful, not to judge, not to condemn, to forgive, and to be generous. Mga katangi ang kailangan natin linangin sa ating mga buhay bilang mga disipulo ni Kristo, lalo't higit ngayon panahon ng kwaresma upang lalong maging ganap ang pagbabalik loob natin sa Diyos. Kung napakinggan po natin ang maayos ang Ibanghelyo na hango sa Ibanghelyo ni Lucas, madaming hamon ang Diyos sa bawat isa sa atin. But it all boils down to this very word, listening, pakikinig. Hinahamon tayo ngayon ng Diyos na makinig. Ito rin yung hamon ng Diyos kahapon nung ipinagdiwang natin ang pagbabagong anyo ni Jesus, the transfiguration of Jesus. Ano yung boses? Ano yung tinig na nagsalita kahapon sa ating Ebanghelyo? Sabi ng Diyos Ama, This is my chosen son. Listen to him. Sa dami na nangingay sa paligid natin, both in our country and globally, hinahamon tayo ng Diyos sa isang mas malalim na pakikinig. Bakit pakikinig? Bakit kailangan nating makinig? Kapag marunong tayong makinig, mabilis sa atin ang umunawa. At kapag ikaw ay nakakaunawa, madali sa iyo ang magbigay awa. Kapag marunong kang makinig, maiintindihan mo ang kapwa mo, kaya magiging madali sa iyo ang hindi maghusga ng kapwa mo. Kapag marunong tayong makinig, maiintindihan mo kung nag bakit nagkakamali ang isang tao at magiging madali para sa atin ang magpatawad at humingi ng tawad. Kapag marunong tayong makinig, maiintindihan mo ang kwento ng pakikibaka ng ibang tao at magiging madali para sa iyo ang gumawa ng mabuti at magbigay tulong lalo't higit sa mga nahihirapan. Kapag marunong kang makinig sa mundong ito, lalo't higit ang tenga ng pananampalataya, pakikinggan ka rin ng Diyos pag alis mo sa mundong ito. Sapagkat ang takalang ginamit ninyo sa iba ay siya takalang gagamitin ng Diyos sa inyo. Tandaan po natin yan. To push the thought further, sa nalalapit din pong eleksyon, ilang araw na lang, ito rin sana ang maging isa sa mga pamantayan nating mga leader, ang marunong makinig sa mga mamamayan, ang leader na marunong makinig sa hinaing, sa hinagpis, sa kahirapan, sa karahasan, sa katarungan, sa mga nangangailangan. Mga leader na marunong makinig sa kapakanan ng nakararami at hindi lamang pinapakinggan ang kanyang sarili at personal na interest. Amen? Bilang mga bininyagang katolikong kristyano, malaki po yung parte natin, lalo tigit ngayon, sa halalan. Nakasalalay sa ating mga kamay ang kinabukasan ng ating bayan. Nakasalalay sa ating makamakamay kung anong klaseng pagbabago ang nais nating makamtan. Piliin natin yung mga leader na totoong mayroong tenga na nakikinig sa kaniyang bayan at mamamayan. Mga kapatid, alam ko, hindi po madali ang makinig, lalo na sa panahon natin ngayon. Pero hindi ito nangangahulugan na hindi natin makakayang gawin. Sa misang ito, hilingin natin ang awa at grasya ng Diyos. 
Lalo tigit ang paggabay ng Birheng Maria, ang Birhen ng Manawag, na siyang unang nakinig sa Diyos at naganap ang pagliligtas sa sandibutan. Sa kanilang paggabay, lalo natin sanang mapakinggan ang boses ng Diyos na gawin ang kanyang kalooban. May pakiusap po ako sa inyo. Maari po ba natin pakihawakan yung ating dalawang tenga? Subukan nyo pong alisin at pagdugtungin, pagdaupin ang mga forma nito, ano pong lalabas na imahen. Itapat po ninyo sa inyong mga dibdib. Tandaan nyo po, sa bawat tayong marunong makinig, ay may busilak na pusong nalilikha at nahuhulma na kagaya ng kamahal-mahalang puso ni Jesus at kalinis-linisang puso ni Maria. Tainang marunong makinig at pusong marunong magmahal. If you have all this, the temptations not to forgive, to become selfish, to become judgmental, and to condemn, will be impossible. Amen? O Maria, aming ina, turuan mo kaming laging makinig at magmahal ng tunay. Dare to listen and dare to love. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray to God who is kind and merciful, who heals and pardons all our sins. In every petitions we say, Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. That the church may fulfill her ministry of healing and forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. That government officials may show care and concern for the poor and the marginalized. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. That we may be able to see our own faults and refrain from passing judgment on the failures of others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. That the sick, the lonely, and the handicapped may find strength and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. That our departed relatives and friends may find peace and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray to God and entrust to God all our intentions and all the desires of our hearts. Merciful Father, these prayers and intentions we bring before you express our needs and our hopes. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in your goodness these our prayers, O Lord, and set free from worldly attractions those you allow to serve the heavenly mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from the disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. As one family of God, we now dare to pray the prayer Christ himself has taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
the body of Christ. Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm that the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May this communion, O Lord, cleanse us of wrongdoing and make us heirs of to the joy of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, the summer feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on May 4, 2022 third Wednesday after Easter Sunday. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., and 12 noon at and 4.30 p.m. from April 25 to May 3, 2022. 
Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on May 1st, Sunday. We invite you to participate in this Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt or you may visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please stand. Uh, sa pagkakataong pong ito, hayaan nyo rin na pasalamatan kong muli ang komunidad ng mga Dominikano, lalo tigit ang management ng dambanang ito sa pagbibigay ng pagkakataon na makapagdiwang ng banal na misa at pasalamatan ng Diyos, lalo tigit ang mahal na ina sa biyaya ng pagkapari. I am a three-month-old priest po. Kakaordinan ko lang noong December. I am Reverend Father Michael Jaime Sibal from the Diocese of Tarlac. And please continue to pray for the priest sa aming pong mga pari and continue to pray for more vocations sa pagpapari at sa magmamadre. And rest assured also of my prayers for all of you, lalo na po kayong mga deboto ng mahal na ina ng manawag. At kasama ko po sa umagang ito, ang um, faculty ng Victoria Catholic School at ang kanilang namumuno ang mga madre, Sister Elda at Sister Eva, both from the Order of Preachers, from the Our Lady of Peace, Dominican Sisters of the Our Lady of Peace. Nandito po sila sa harapan. Palakpakan po natin sila. Nan nandito rin po Pasalamatan ko rin ang aking foster family from Paniki, ang Por Lucas Makaraeg family. Nandito rin po sila. Maraming salamat po. At sa inyo pong lahat na naririto, hangad ko ang matiwasay, mabunga at makahulugang pagpasyal, pagsisimba, pagdidiboto sa ating mahal na ina sa dambanang ito. May God bless us all. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. Confirm the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, we pray, and strengthen them by the power of your grace, that they may be constant in making supplication to you and sincere in love for one another. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you and your loved ones the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. We now, <clears throat> we now pray the prayer for the blessing of the sick. Please call to mind all your sick loved ones and every sick people. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And in a special way, we pray for all your rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles 
be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.